after Terry's stop off in Borough, it was time for some exercise. This is going to be good. It's going to be amazing. I'm excited. As the sign suggests, we're set to get our bike on. OK. Enjoy your ride. Riesling Trail, here we come, hey? That's it. Oh, it's been a while. <laughs> the Riesling Trail runs for 35 k's from Clare to Auburn. It makes for a great hike, but for us, we use the local bike hire and let our two wheels tackle the terrain. 35 clicks and they say, I think, on the bike, you can do it one way in two hours. Cleverly, the trail loops, so no need to go over old ground. It's called the Riesling Trail because of the variety of wine the region is famous for. And as such, the trail winds through wineries and cellar doors. The Riesling Trail was actually one of the first rail trails in South Australia. Did you know that? Between Auburn and Clare? Yeah. I haven't cycled for a long time, so I'm here to tell you that anyone can do this ride. Go the quads! <laughs> it is thirsty work though, isn't it? Seven Hills is one such winery along the trail. It was established to create sacrificial wines way back in 1851. This tradition continues to this day, but they are also producing some delightful table wines. Seven Hill is the oldest winery in the Clare Valley region. It's also the only remaining Jesuit-owned winery in Australia. The historic winery, Cellar Door and St Aloysius Church give you an opportunity to taste some fantastic wine while getting a better understanding of Seven Hill's historic and religious significance. It is some portfolio here, wines that cater for every palate and every price tag. And the try before you buy option is highly recommended. Ooh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is good. Mm. I'll get the citrus and that zestiness. Yeah. Nice. Great. Got time for a red? Sure thing. <laughs> We've got time for whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> This Shiraz is just amazing, as are the Rieslings the area are known for. What an all-rounder. No one knows the valley like Brother John May, who was in charge of winemaking here for some 40 years. Brother John, what brought you to the Clare Valley? Uh, well, I'm a Jesuit, and I take a, took a vow of obedience, as well as other three vows, two vows, and I was sent here in 1963. Seven Hills may be the elder statesman of the Clare Valley, but they continue to innovate. Well, Riesleys, of course, are the feature of the Clare Valley. A trend has come into the wine industry, very, very, uh, picking the grapes rather ripe. And the only problem with that is the high in alcohol. And, uh, is that a bad thing? I think it is because <laughs> they, you can't drink as much to start oh. with. <laughs>